Your taxpayer dollars are being used, and we now know this, to fly migrants across the country. That's not us saying it. That's not an investigation. This is a nun who helps relocate people who have entered the country illegally. Take a listen. I guess you could say got lucky to get reimbursed to some of the efforts that we've been doing for so long, you know, and so that's good. I'm glad we, and that is taxpayers' money. That is taxpayers' money. Her group helps put these people on trains and buses with a one-way ticket to the city of their choice. Now, the Biden administration is paying this group back, and the price tag isn't cheap. We'll get to the price tag in a minute. This is video of the people lining inside the San Antonio airport. Allie Bradley took this video. As we've reported, not all of these migrants are traveling in family units. That's important because under current law, single adults are to be deported immediately to slow the spread of COVID. Single adult males, though, have been coming in groups to airports and bus stations. We bring in independent journalist Allie Bradley, who uncovered this story uh, from a snowy South Texas. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for being outside, first of all. Uh, Allie, tell us how you followed the money back to this group with this nun. I mean, honestly, Leland, I had talked to Sister Norma Pimentel back in August. And when I started really investigating all of this, and she at that time said, you know, we're getting donations. We, we might apply for some money. We know that the government has some money available, but we haven't gotten any of that. Well, when I was back down in Texas this time around, I gave her another opportunity to chat with me again and just had the conversation and asked, you know, this, got, this has got to be expensive. How can people help? You know, how much are we putting into this? And she was talking about what you just heard, that, you know, they got lucky and it is taxpayer money. And she even went on to say they're getting about a million dollars and they might even get more. And does the federal government know what they're doing with the money? You know, I, I honestly don't know that, Leland, because they, what they're doing is applying within a humanitarian grant that is available for a lot of different charities. We know in Yuma, they also have an NGO there that is getting FEMA reimbursement, which that too comes down to the taxpayer money, right? So we know now that NGOs are in fact, we've seen them assisting these migrants. We know that the NGO down in the Rio Grande Valley, the Catholic Charities, they are the biggest NGO that is the busiest sector and they've helped more than 200,000 people. And so you're hearing them say, you know, that is taxpayer dollars. We do buy some of these wow. flights. She admitted that to me for the first time. I've never had anybody tell me that they have paid for some flights for these migrants. It's always been something that has been skirted, that has been swept under the rug. We have never really gotten someone on camera saying we're buying tickets with taxpayer dollars. Yeah, it actually is stunning to have made the, made the connection because all of us who've been down on the border and reported have always wondered where's the money coming from. And now uh, we know you were able to follow the money. Um, this is a little more of your interview uh, with the sister talking about some of the failures on the border. Take a listen. I think that the clarity is definitely something that is missing and that needs to be in place so that uh, we can help these families understand their, their hopes and expectations, uh, whether they're valid or not. How much of this is the Catholic Charities doing God's work because you have tens of thousands of people every month literally just being put out onto the streets in the Rio Grande Valley, and they got to go somewhere at some point because of the administration's policies. And how much of this is the charities encouraging people to come? You know, I know that this is all organized, Leland. We've talked about this several times. These people don't show up here by chance. So the fact that these NGOs, we have heard that they're on the other side, you know, in Mexico as well. When I was walking in the caravans, there are NGOs that assist on that side as well. Now, Catholic charities down there, is not present in you know in mexico and in the rio grande valley they have different charities down there that are working together now how much of that when they're talking about they get donations and they also get taxpayer dollars and and fema reimbursements and all of these things how much are they really spending on these migrants and how much is going back to the charity and the people that work for them that is the next part of the investigation i need to really dig into yeah, well, and also you, you think about all the people who got free plane tickets. They call their friends and their family back home and say, hey, look, I came across the border. I got a free plane ticket. Uh, also following up with the administration in terms of what these grants were for and what's being done with them. 
Allie, incredible reporting. It's why we keep having you back at Allie Bradley TV on Twitter. It's uh, worth a follow if you care about the border story. Thank you. Thank you, Leland. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.